Hey, what's up guys, it's Eric with Painting Business Pro, and in this video I'm gonna address two different things that uh, I hear all the time that are just total misconceptions. So the first is, um, we're gonna talk about estimating and what we pay to a subcontractor or painter. And there's really two different things that people get confused about. The first is, they say, you know, 50% isn't fair, or that's not enough, or something like that. So I wanna make the case why, why paying 50% of the job to your labor and materials is, is totally fair and reasonable, in fact, it's not just fair and reasonable, it's necessary for you to build a good healthy business because you need that margin for all of your other expenses that you incur for running and operating a business and that's the same in many different industries, not just painting. Okay, the second thing I wanna explain is how what we estimate for an hourly rate is different than what we pay people for an hourly rate, all right? So those are the two things we're gonna address in this video. So this is fundamentally how we estimate a job is we estimate based on something called production rates. So, you know, we have production rates for everything that can be painted, you know, a window trim, a door trim, a, you know, 40 feet of fascia, 30 feet of fascia, you know, interior trim, like every single thing that needs painting has a production rate associated with it, which just means this is how long we're estimating for that thing to take. All right, so, um, and then what we do is we estimate one hour for this job and we estimate at $20 an hour. And that's where people, that's the first pl place people get hung up is they say, Eric, $20 an hour is not fair. Like you need to pay more than that. And I say, well, I'm not paying 20 an hour. I'm estimating at $20 an hour for that hour of work. All right, so stay with me. So the next thing we do is we say, okay, cool. So our cost for this job is 20 bucks. And then we mark it up. And we mark it up a little differently than this, but just for simplicity's sake, let's say we mark it up by double. So the job is $40. That's what we say to the customer. Now it's usually gonna be a little higher than that, but let's just say $40 to the customer. So then 50% of that is what goes to the painter. And that's where people say, hey, that's not fair. I'm like, no, 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 I estimated $20 for that hour of work. And that's what they're gonna get. Now, now that's, that's why what we're paying out is fair, but you say, hey, $20 an hour isn't fair. Now, what's fair? I mean, if they do a really terrible job, do they even deserve $20 an hour? If they do a phenomenal job, don't they deserve more than $20 an hour? So here's a quick example. So one production rate would be for a door trim, all right? And in my estimating forms, which I'll put a link below this video where you can go and get an esti a free estimating guide from me with production rates and how to estimate, but one of them is a door trim. So we're talking exterior painting, you know, you've got the garage, the garage door at the back that comes into the garage, the trim on that door. We bid an hour for that, all right? That means we're bidding an hour for that door trim. Now, if you go ask any self-respecting painter, how long does it take you to paint that door trim? I'll let you answer right now, as you're watching this video, how long should it take to paint a door trim? A good painter should be, do, be able to do that in like 20 minutes, 30 minutes. So let's just say that painter paints that door trim in 30 minutes. Well, they're getting paid for an hour of work at 20 an hour, but if it only takes them 30 minutes, they're actually earning $40 an hour. So it's, it, for good painters, that 50% is really good and fair. And we have painters and subcontractors who make bank working for us because they beat our budgets. They beat our production rates. And good painters should beat our production rates. So if you've got you know, painters or subcontractors who are complaining about your price, and actually before I even say that, if you're, if you're not bidding based on specific, accurate production rates, then there's, there, that's the place you have to start because you, gotta, you have to bid with that process. But let's say you are, and then you have a painter or subcontractor who's like, this price isn't fair. Well, it can only be one of a few things. One is they're, they're kind of BSing you, which is totally fine because that's their job. I mean, if, if I can ask for more money and get it, like I should ask for more money every single time. So they're kind of doing their job by asking for more money. Or if they actually aren't making good money, it's because they're taking more than an hour to paint a door trim, or they're taking an hour to paint a door trim, or they're leaving touch-ups. You know what I've never bid for on a job? I say, okay, it takes that long to paint the door, that long to paint the fascia, and then we're gonna give them 10 hours to do touch-ups. I've seen painters take 10 hours to do touch-ups. I've never bid a single hour to do touch-ups because they should paint the door trim right the first time. All right, and then the other thing that we don't bid for is cleanup. 
You know, I've never been doing a bid and been like, okay, cool. And then we're going to need four hours to wire brush the drips off of the concrete and the brick. Or, you know, we're going to need an extra th two hours to fix the roof or, you know, whatever. So painters who leave cleanup and leave touch-ups, they're always going to lower their actual earnings because we don't bid time for that. We expect people to do a good job to do it right the first time. And the painters that we have that do good work and they do it right the first time and they're just good painters, they beat our budgets and they make great money. And it's always fair because the bidding is all based on production rates and the production rates are fair. All right, so that's my little rant on why estimating and hourly wages on what you're estimating and then hourly wages on what they're actually earning are two separate things. So hopefully that answered that question. Then the second is, yeah, why 50% is perfectly fair. All you've got to do to know it's fair is go look at the production rates and say, are those fair? And they definitely are. And, that's, and we know that because we have a ton of painters who make a ton of money on those production rates. So again, if you want access to just a free estimating guide, I'll put a link below the video where you can get that. And then you know we've got way more detailed training on estimating and production rates and all that stuff in the Painting Business Pro Training Program. So that's all I've got for you today. Hope this, uh, hope this taught you something. Hey, what's up, it's Eric with Painting Business Pro. I hope you enjoyed the video, but I wanted to give you a quick little message because the truth is, if you really wanna build a great company, there are no shortcuts. You're not gonna learn how to build a great company by watching clips on YouTube or clips on Facebook or even attending webinars or listening to podcasts or reading endless business books. The truth about building a really great company is that it takes a lot of time and it's really important that you invest in your, your development and education of yourself as a business owner and as a leader. It takes a lot of time to build the necessary systems to building a great company. It takes a long time to build yourself as a great leader who can build a great culture and recruit and train the right people. And that's just the reality of building a business. There are no shortcuts. And the way that I help people build a great company is in my Painting Business Pro training program where we do go really deep on all of those things that you need to master to build a truly great company. So if that's what you're really interested in doing, you can learn more about the Painting Business Pro training program by clicking, clicking the link below this video and uh, you can check it out there.